Good morning. Thanks for joining us for this uh, special Facebook, uh, Facebook Live edition here with Brownells. I'm Simon. I am a product manager. Um, and with me today is John from Magpul. Thanks for joining us, John. Thank you. I'm um, John Knipe. I'm the director of apparel accessories at Magpul. And uh, we've got a new product launch for you today. We, we do. And it's, uh, it's kind of exciting. You are, you're probably seeing it here first because this is literally just gone live. Um, right here at 10 o'clock so, yeah so you guys are getting a uh a first look at eyewear magpul eyewear. eyewear magpul eyewear indeed this is, this is a uh this is a interesting new venture absolutely um we've been working on it for for a long time now uh it was a big project obviously uh it's the first time we've made glasses mm -hmm. so um we're really excited about it they've got a lot of features that set them apart from others and uh Got a big, big complement of lens colors and frames, and we're, we're really excited about it. Absolutely. I think we're going to get a little bit more into that here in a minute, but first we probably want to address what a lot of you out there are going to be asking us. This is live. We know we're going to get the questions. We know when it comes to Magpul, everybody asks, hey, Magpul, where is my X? You know, um, Magpul is always being innovative. They're always bringing new products to market. You're seeing a lot of... Uh, a lot of stuff that hits and you guys are all excited about it. When is it going to be shipping? So we know that that's the question that you're all going to pose. John, when is my X going to ship from Magpul? When is my X coming out? Um, this is our favorite question to answer on any product release. Is That's great. What about um, Ruger, Hunter American, the Bipod, which we haven't missed our ship date on yet. Mm -hmm. uh, and we don't plan on it. Um, all of the projects that we've announced, um, we've got an internal policy that we don't ship anything before it's right. We don't use the customers, a beta tester, we do it all ourselves. Unfortunately, when new SKUs of a rifle and new calibers come out, for example, or some unforeseen test condition or something changes during the testing process, yeah. we figure we're better off to delay a product as frustrating as that is for everybody, us included. Yeah. And, um, ship it when it's right and uh you i think know, that's one of the things that people appreciate about magpul products is when they come to market you know that they're you know that they're ready to execute you know that you're ready to use them they've been through the ringer and uh and they can be trusted yeah with with very 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 few exceptions um we've got a pretty good track record of, of sending stuff out perfect so uh yeah. we're, we're going to try to continue that i know everybody's waiting on the hunter american i'm, I'm one of those people um and it's coming it's coming soon i promise uh, will not be delayed much longer. Same thing with the bipod. Um, the bipod was a classic example of Magpul's value proposition where you take a fully featured product that normally costs much, much, much more and it comes in at the cost of, at the lower end of the spectrum and provides all the same value. Absolutely. So um, Absolutely. it's coming, they're coming soon, I promise. So hopefully <laughs> that addresses uh, some of your questions. We know, we know it's tough waiting. Um, and that's why, quite frankly, this is, this is neat to see this roll out. Um, the eyewear line is, is not only launching from, from the standpoint of you seeing it here today, but it's also launching from the standpoint of stuff is gonna be in stock, shipping very, very soon. Sure, um, you should be able to go to brownells.com and order these glasses today. Yeah, you so. will be seeing this live on our website um, very, very shortly. Like, like I said, this is, this is all getting rolled out at once. Um, so you may have to check our new product section or, or the uh, look under the Magpul brand um, to, to find it. But you will see all these, um, all these different models uh, live and live soon. So the first question I'm sure a lot of people have is why, why I wear Magpul? What's, why, this, is, this, is, this is not a PMAG. This is not a stock. This is, this is something completely different. Why I wear? Um, a few different reasons. Uh, one, we all wear glasses every day and we weren't totally happy with any of the ones that that we had that we had bought you know on our own from any of the the usual eyewear suspects the other one is uh we produce stuff um by a variety of different methods uh you know casting metal injection molding sewn goods but i think we can all agree the thing we're known for is injection molded polymer yep. So this was solidly in our wheelhouse for what our core competency is. Um, so we, we identified a need, a place we could provide value mm -hmm. and manufacturing expertise and design knowledge that we had in house. And it met all of our criteria for a new product that we could be successful in and provide something to the customer that they might not be getting other places. So 
it, uh, it was a perfect fit for Magpul to move into. Um, all the activities, the shooting activities, for yeah. example, you know, you should be wearing iPro. Uh, <laughs> we've now got a means to provide that, not just for shooting, but for everything you do mm -hmm. in your everyday life. These are, these are good glasses. Yeah. So. Well, to that end, let's talk about the design process. Obviously, um, you guys, as we've talked about earlier, you guys put things through the ringer before you bring it, bring it to the market. You, you guys are obviously your own, kind of your own worst critic when it comes to bringing new stuff out. You, you want to make sure that you are executing with the, uh, with the highest level of quality. So the design pro process on eyewear, um, what did that look like for Michael? Um when we talk about our design process, uh, when we release a product, the customer, you know, can be pretty brutal <laughs> about your product, right? Yep. Uh, no, no secret there. If people don't like something, they will let you know. But uh, it's never been too hard for us to navigate because nobody is as brutal about our product as we are internally. Mm -hmm. um, we, like I said, we identified a need for eyewear and decided to put it into our design process, um, which began with some research, fact finding, checking out comparables. What did we like? What did we not like? What did the glasses need to do? So we identified those needs and then we have designers who this is their first stab at eyewear. So they had to learn all this with mm -hmm. some guidance, you know, and really refine the process and become subject matter experts on eyewear design, yeah. which it's totally different than taking something for an AR magwell or a carbine receiver extension and, and building something around it. The human head is complicated. Everybody's nose is a different height than width and everybody's ears are in a different place and their eyes are different widths. And that three dimensional fit was, was definitely a learning curve that those guys just embraced and nailed. So, um, I guess that's also one of the great things is, is with, with what you guys have done in the design process, this is truly from the ground up. You weren't taking an existing line or, or um, coming at it you know, from a company standpoint of, hey, we've already done some of this, so this is just an, a different variation on something you've already done. This is, this is gen, genuinely from the ground up sure. design, which, yeah. is, which is pretty cool to see. Other than knowing we could mold these, which we're good at, everything started you know, on, a, on a blank sheet of paper. And, and turned into what you see on the table, plus some um, skews that are coming in the future. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of fact finding, a lot of a lot of trial and error, and um, so we're just really excited with how the the three styles we're releasing today came out, and the wide wide range of needs that they'll meet. Yeah. Um, our design process, by and large for eyewear was the same as any other product. Uh, if you look at a lot of Magpul products, be it grips, buttstocks, handguards, uh, the bad lever, improving the human interface with whatever weapon system they're designed to support is kind of paramount to what we do with, with rifle furniture. Mm -hmm. So that being ingrained into our culture, the human interface thing, played into the in the eyewear quite a bit a lot more translation than than you would have thought at yeah. the beginning yeah. and uh, beyond that the the actual process we put it through is really no different than than anything else that kind of stands the test of time for us that we we do the process the same way every time because it works so fantastic different different requirements but the same the same, same ethos yeah. going into it yeah absolutely so let's talk about the models. We have, you mentioned we have three different models here. Let's, if you could walk me through what they, what they are and how they're kind of different from each other. Yep, three models for now. There will, mm -hmm. be, there will be more coming. This is by no means everything we're gonna do with eyewear. Mm -hmm. You got the Explorer, the Terrain, and the Summit. Um, got an Explorer right here. Uh, this is our most basic model. Um, it's a Wayfarer style. It's more squared off, a little more standoff on the sides of the face. Mm -hmm. I guess you could consider it more, more casual maybe than the other two. Um, they've all got the same basic uh, frame material, lens options, uh, different shapes for different heads and different mm -hmm. uses. Um, this is our standard black frame, gray lens. Uh, it's the most affordable of them. $89 is the kind of entry-level pricing for them. Uh, then we have the Summit. The Summit is uh, 
base a wrap, mm -hmm. you know, trying to think of what you would compare it to on the market. Uh, common sport glasses, they're, they're all fairly similar in construction and, mm -hmm. and shape. Uh, these are a smaller of the two between the uh, summit and the terrain. So the larger one, so the terrain, Better coverage. Major bigger faces, yeah, better coverage. More, I'm not more, sure more what yeah. else to say about it, yeah. but you can see they're they're really similar in shape, mm -hmm. different yeah. sizes. Yeah, and that's and that is one of the things I don't know if we can we can show it well, but if you look at uh, let's see, make sure I got the right model here, the Explorer, um, you can see kind of the that more traditional. I don't know if I want to say squared off design as opposed to yeah, you can see the the, the wrap around, um, which you know for some guys that are looking for a specific shooting glass, yeah. and not that these are marketed as a specific shooting glass, but if that's if that's what you're looking for in these, um, having that kind of wrap around coverage, I know for some guys like that, but um, across the board, they're all they're all rated for. I guess safety eyewear, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Um, all of these, and you'll see it stamped on the inside of the glass, are all Z87 plus or Z87.1 rated mm -hmm. for ballistic protection. Um, that was another thing that we learned a great deal of, about was how do we rate and test these glasses and what are mm -hmm. the difference in the Z87 rating that a lot of people are familiar with, with, with eye protection or industrial protection and like the military ratings. Mm -hmm. And while like they'll take the same impact, the amount of coverage you have means you can meet one, but not necessarily the other. And it doesn't mean that the protection's any less, mm -hmm. it's just a matter of how you know big the glasses are, yeah. side wrap. Um, so all of our lenses are Z87.1 rated, um, which is, you know, excellent for, for shooting iPro, mm -hmm. uh, which was definitely something we had on the forefront of our minds for a company like Magpul, obviously, if you're gonna make glasses, they need to be, yeah. <laughs> need to be good for eye protection for that, shooting. Yeah, that's, that's the customer base that's, that's, uh, that's already in line for them. So, and I think that is one of the, the cool things about them is they, they have that crossover. You know, a lot of products on the market um, are kind of one or the other, either they're, they're uh, stylish sunglass that you you would wear on everyday basis or you wear shooting glasses you know i know a lot of people kind of have have both of those and, sure. and it's kind of that switch off um but with these you really have you have the best of both worlds in one you have eyewear that you can you can wear on the street you can wear sure. wherever and and it doesn't look out of place um but if you're at the range you're you're not compromising on any safety there yeah um that's an interesting point um when we started looking around and doing market research and then just what we did ourselves um, it used to be I would have a pair of glasses that I wore to the office and I wore in my car and I wore to lunch or mm -hmm. to dinner. And then when I went to the range, I would put them in a case and I would take out my shooting glasses and put them on and then switch back and forth. And I'm sure people still do that, but we've seen that eyewears come to a point and whether it's fashion driven or function driven, a, a lot of people just wear the same glasses for everything now. Yep. And um, you can definitely do that with ours. Yeah. So. I've found myself more often than not, I wear the same for everything, whether it's running, riding my bike, yeah. you know, I think most of us are going to dinner, that. going to the range. If I'm wearing sunglasses, it's usually the same pair. Yeah. So we wanted to make something that met the requirements for all that stuff. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about the lenses. I know that personally, I, you know, I have the same thing. I, I can wear sunglasses any, anywhere. I mean, it may be, it may be driving, it may be mowing, it may be whatever else, you know, and, and you can, you can really abuse lenses. I'm, I'm guilty yeah. of abusing lenses and, and getting them scratched up. That's, that's pretty common with everyday eyewear is you're, you're going to scratch them up. Now you were talking to me a little bit about some of the testing, some of the, some of the lens protection. I mean, outside of like the, the safety rating, but just, just as far as lens clarity and, and the, the, the lifespan of it, not getting not being easily susceptible to, to scratches. That's sure. That's a pretty important thing, and it sounds like you guys are really, really focused on that. So um, when we developed the lenses, we applied an anti-scratch coating to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, honestly, I was like, okay, well, we'll see, because I'm used to buying expensive glasses, and I take them off and I put them in my cup holder for 10 minutes when it gets cloudy or something, and mm -hmm. then I take them out, and they're brand new, and they've got a big scratch. and. Yep and they're not cheap and I'm kind of disappointed, like there's gotta be a better way to do this. Um, we invested in an anti-scratch coating for these and uh, you know, personal experience, we did a photo shoot in Wyoming and I had the golden tortoise um, 
explorers on, and they're not here on the table because I stole them because I like <laughs> them so much. And uh, we were on razors up in the mountains, and the snow was melting, and we were covered in mud, and all I had on was these glasses because that's what we were taking pictures of. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, they would be just caked in big globs of mud, and I didn't have anything to rinse them off with. I didn't have anything to wipe them off with. I could spit on them and wipe them on my shirt to get them clean enough to take pictures of. And I thought, man, I'm just like grinding a hole in these things and they don't have any scratches on them. So um, I'm not saying you can't scratch these lenses. You definitely can mm -hmm. like any other coated glass. Yep. But um, if you're used to glasses scratching easy, we, we went ahead and, and took care of that for you, hopefully. Yeah. So. Well, that's fantastic because, again, that's, that's one of those things that anybody who wears sunglasses knows it's just a matter of time um, before you abuse them in some way that's, that's not optimal sure. for, for protecting the lenses. And so having that, having that um, additional design feature, I guess, uh, is, is certainly going to be going to be helpful to the customer. I know we've had, uh, we've had some questions coming in. Some people are asking um, whether these will fit over standard glasses. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Nope, uh, these are not designed to be worn over uh, a standard prescription glass. And I'm sure there might be uh, an optometrist out there who could put prescription lenses in these frames, but right now we haven't vetted any of that out there. Okay. Well, that was another question that a lot of people had asked is, is whether you'll have uh, prescription options. And it sounds like something that's not, not currently in the works, but. Yeah, I, I won't lie to you. I don't have a good answer for, for prescription options. We can try to find out. I could text somebody. But I know right now getting the glasses right for the guy that goes into the store or orders them online mm -hmm. and, and puts them on regardless of vision correction was kind of getting the glasses right was our number one priority. What, what comes down the road? Um, we're definitely actively working on expanding the line past what we have right here. Mm -hmm. um, there are other things in the works right now, but uh, but right now we're not ready to release anything like that. That sounds like a that sounds like a a, a bit of a teaser, huh? Yeah, maybe maybe <laughs> not. Can yeah. neither confirm nor deny. Perfect, perfect. Um, lens options. I don't think we talked about that. There's obviously we can see across across the lineup here that you have a variation of lens colors. So customers aren't stuck to a gray lens or a tan lens or um, and, and even I think there's even sure. options between uh, standard and polarized. Absolutely. So we've got one non-polarized option. Um, the traditional model for when people buy eyewear is you go buy a hundred and fifty dollar pair of glasses and you can get any number of lens colors and coatings and then Oh, you want polarized? Well, it's 50 more dollars. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, most people for day-to-day -day use want polarized glasses. You know, we kind of found that by and large, everybody preferred it for most uses uh, to have them polarized, but there's certainly occasions where you wouldn't. So in our black frame, we offer a non-polarized gray lens. Mm -hmm. Everything else that's currently available is polarized. Um, there are currently six lens options. Uh, okay. We've got gray, bronze, bronze with blue mirror, bronze with gold mirror, rose with blue mirror, and green. And then we've got a couple more that we're working on right now, maybe for some future releases. Um, because there are a lot of lenses that are a good compromise that you can do everything with and, mm -hmm. and most people wouldn't notice, but there's definitely optimized choices for certain conditions based on light transmission and and color and just basically the way you see things for the stuff you're doing cool. um, and if I told you I knew all that off the top of my head <laughs> we won't we won't quiz you on that I would be lying but if people have questions I have a handy cheat sheet right here that I will look at Absolutely. Um, well then maybe we should also talk about what so customer comes on our website, and, and as I mentioned earlier, these are, um, these are going live on the Brownells website. I think they're going to be live on the Magpul website. They should be live should, on the Magpul website right now, but I think the majority of our inventory has been pre-booked by dealers. So, okay. so there's, there's already going to be information out there. Like I said, you should be able to find them on the, uh, on the Brownells website. Um, so you want to order them? What, what's included with them, John? What do you, what do you get when you order? Excellent like question. Um, you get the glasses, and regardless of the model, you get a microfiber bag that you can use to store them in and clean them and protect them. And um, some companies do, some companies don't uh, provide a hard case with them. And we decided we wanted a hard case, and we wanted it to be a little more versatile than one that's shaped 
exactly mm -hmm. for the iPro and also a little better protection. So being really good at injection molded polymer and you know, not to toot our own horn, but I think we designed stuff well too. We have a hard case that comes with the glasses. Uh, hinge lid pops open, felt lined, and you can fit your glasses in it. And it's also useful for any number of other things that you could stash in there and throw in a bag. That's, that's absolutely true. I, I can tell you having, having handled this, um, this is kind of one of those things that, yeah, you're buying eyewear, uh, but this is cool. And, and, and I, I know that a lot of our, our Magpul customers are going to appreciate this for what it is on its own. It's a PMAG um, for your glasses. Kind of is, and, and the design, the design is, uh, the design is very reminiscent of what you would expect with, uh, with any quality Magpul um, product, and it's, and it's, I, to me, I mean, you could get the eyewear with the bag, and that would be cool, and that would be pretty standard. But to get this on top of it, um, not to sound all QVC, but order now and get this. Um, it, it's a cool, it's a cool product, and I, I think our customers will be, uh, be pleasantly surprised with, with that on top of, uh, on top of the other, other products. So. Price range. Um, I'm sure that's what a lot of you guys are asking or are wondering about. Um, the price range is it, it's pretty solid within the market, isn't it? I mean, you guys have obviously, sure. obviously done your market research and you were, uh, you knew where you where you needed to be. What's what's kind of the the price range around on these? Um, when we figured out how to price these things, um, a number of factors go into it: how much it cost us to make, how much it cost us to develop, what what else is on the market. Um, for your basic gray lens black frame, I think they start at $89. Mm -hmm. And for the most expensive, which is the tortoise frame, um, for a couple reasons, caveat, I don't have the tortoise out here. Uh, we only had so much room on the table. Mm -hmm. And also, um, one of our hallmarks of a good product at Magpul is if the employees steal the prototypes. And, uh, and the tortoise ones all seem to find another home before we brought the samples out here and all the rest are on a truck. So go. <laughs> going up to the tortoise frame with the gold, uh, gold lens with the bronze coating, I'm sorry, bronze lens with the gold coating, goes up to 149 and that's polarized, scratch resistant, the same impact rating that the others have, the case, mm -hmm. um, which compared to other glasses that don't offer all those features is, you know, $150 is, is a lot of money, yeah. you know, definitely to everyone. But um, when you look at what they compare with, it's a really good value, which, which kind of ties back to the, the bottom line of what we want to provide is the value proposition. Absolutely. Where you get the, the features and benefits of something much more expensive for a much, much lower cost. Yeah. And that's, that's one of those... Uh, one of the things that are, we know our customers uh, appreciate about Magpul products. Looks like we had a, a question um, come through that says, is the case available separately? At the moment, no, but it's, it's likely that you will be able to buy the case separately. I'm not sure what the cost will be yet. We're, we're trying to make enough cases for all the glasses right now, but I'm sure in the future that, that will be an option. Good to hear. If, um, if not, I apologize, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure I'm pretty sure we're going to do that. Fair enough. Um, I know one of the questions that will will come up as as customers buy these, which is where are they made? Um, is that something you you want to address? Or yeah, absolutely. Um, traditionally, everything Magpul makes is is made in the USA. All of our firearms accessories, um, apparel, was really our first venture that wasn't made in the USA. And eyewear is probably our second major launch that's not. Um, they are made in Taiwan uh, because that's where that manufacturing competence exists. Um, we, we couldn't have done these at, at the cost we did in the United States and, and maybe not the quality. It's just that, that industry exists there. That's the, the hub of manufacturing and expertise and we, we wanted them done right. Um, if an option came up where we could make them in the US I'm sure we would we would exercise that mm -hmm. but to get what we wanted we really had to go to where where that expertise lays and that was Taiwan so that's uh, that's one of those one of those things that I again like you like you mentioned most most uh, customers know Magpul for US made stuff but sure. uh, obviously some of that manufacturing dictates otherwise and, and yeah. so that's where we that's where we see that uh, that foreign manufacturer. Yeah, uh, 100% of the time, that's our that's our first course of action. You know, we would always prefer to make things in the United States. Mm -hmm. But if to meet our requirements, it's got to be made somewhere else. Then you know, that's a that's a decision we'll make. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Well, I don't think we have uh, too many more too many more questions coming in. Uh, if you guys do have any have any questions, um, let us know. You can always you can always send this to us even after we're we're done with the uh, with the live, and, uh, and we'll try to get back to you with uh, with answers on those. But uh, I will say that that like with everything that Brownells carries, and, and our all of our customers know that. Uh, Everything is, is backed by our 100% lifetime satisfaction guarantee. That, that includes the eyewear. Um, we, we stand behind that at Brownells. We continue to stand behind that. So you as customers have the, uh, can rest assured that when you're buying a product, you can, you can be happy with it. You, and, and for the life, lifespan of the product, we'll, we'll take care of you. So um, John, I appreciate you coming and taking the time to, to speak with us, speak with the customers, and, Absolutely. Uh, and give us the, the first overview. So. We appreciate it, and uh, we appreciate you guys as the customers, and we hope that you uh, try them out. Try them out for yourself. See the, uh, see the difference with the new Megpo eyewear. So thanks for joining us, and we'll uh, see you again soon.